Not Virgil Abloh. <laughs> Not Virgil Abloh. Um, apparently, he has a wife and two two kids, a daughter and a son. So he's pretty much like you. Virgil fucking any bitches, or he's, he's fucking bitches on the low. Sorry, I have a thing. No, no, sorry. Yeah, I have a thing about Virgil though. I have a thing about Virgil. You bring in. Recently, like a week ago, Virgil was named uh, uh, head designer of menswear Louis Vuitton, whatever, whatever, yada yada yada. That's a huge fucking feat for uh, not Artist just Virgil, for an Af- African American man to be helming one of the biggest fashion houses in the world. Here's the, thi- here's the thing. And as soon as that was announced, which I, you know, leached off and got 10.k views on Twitter videos. <laughs> you gotta uh, do what you gotta do. No, I gotta do what you gotta You know, you gotta hustle. It's called cloud chasing. I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? But uh, as soon as that shit was announced, there were, less, there were so many people on Twitter and on Reddit, like, bashing and berating Virgil. For like, for really? you know, achieving achieving such heights, you know, by saying that yo, Virgil, you're not a, you know, Virgil's not a, a unique, uh, uh, he's not a very talented designer. Oh, and there was also this, you know, how to become success. You know, there was a Reddit thread. You know, how to become successful in fashion. F- number one, no, Ka- no, no, Kanye and Jay Z on a personal level. Uh, number two, you know, uh, in refer in in reference to off white, uh, you know, create. A uh, brand of overpriced hoodies, which has a little bit of truth to it, and like number three question mark number four, you become the Louis Lou Vuitton menswear designer, which was, and I fucking hated that because I to all to all those people who were who were berating Virgil and typing all of that Twitter and Reddit shit off their iPhones. Don't you think it's a little bit hypocritical? Because if you really think about it, if you really you know kind of dive in into the whole Virgil Abloh shit. He's he might not actually be this unique, uh, super talented fashion designer or designer in general. But he's representing a, he's a, a face, a no, story. No, yeah, no, not really a face. He's an amazing marketer. He's a genius marketer, and he kind of he owns the whole fashion social media game. That's where he actually, mm. you know, grew up and shit like that. And same goes with Apple. Steve Jobs was not a genius and gifted engineer. Steve Jobs mm-hmm. was first and foremost a genius marketer. So don't you think it's a little bit hypocritical? You type in all that fuck shit about Mr. Ablo from your iPhones. Steve Jobs using the same you, mathematics, the same principle that that Apple used and that you bought so easily. Virgil well. Ablo is pretty much, in my opinion, the Steve Jobs of fashion. Okay, but the point is that the lack of people seeing that, the lack of people seeing the genius or why it even matters, is the very reason why he should be in those places. Why, why that, uh, you know, that, that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm with you on that. Of course, continue. Yeah. No, I think it's it's extra relevant more than ever. If people don't see why, why would they, how they keep buying that? Be- that's even more interesting. Uh, why they need more that of, of that because, in their lives? Uh, because a lot of people, and also I've read, you know, some fashion insider opinions on. This on you know on Virgil becoming well, this little guy. Well, but it's totally biased. You kind of like the guy. It's so always biased. I mean, with me, you'll be uh, ha- not not on purpose, but you'll be ha- cherry picking the opinions that are you know flattering to him. No, no, no. no. I was actually talking about the bad ones. Okay, you know, so I was, what did I was, they say? I was, I was, nah, I don't really fucking remember. There was like, <laughs> no, no. Uh, the, the, the main uh, the main narrative of the fashion insider opinion on uh, Virgil Abloh Louis Vuitton it was that uh, he you know we. Stop, we stop celebrating actual, you know, actual innovation in fashion and apparel or whatever and in design and we get on board with all this, you know, social media hype and fuckery, which partially is true, uh, which partially mm-hmm. is true, you, you know, because uh, as I said before, Virgil Abloh, in my opinion, is first and foremost a genius marketer and then only second... Um, a talented and gifted designer. And by the way, uh, to those who think he had he had he had done nothing but just overpriced hoodies for Off White, we all know the Off White uh, Jordan collection, uh, the ten that came out came out in two thousand seventeen. 
he actually like he it, he you know usually when these kind of sneaker collabs happen it's just another colorway you know mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. just it's so whack as you put a new color on this shit something like that and he actually went a com- completely different route he deconstructed them like he made them mostly white or whatever because of white surprise yeah but he he deconstructed them he you know he changed some parts of the sneaker replaced something he put something on them you know and and also a lot of you know fashion people you know were saying that this is one of the most the one of the best sneaker collabs of the year and it was true it was it was a rave you know it was really fucking successful and people loved it from fashion people to you know to masses it was great and to me you know not ch- not doing some whack ass colorway but actually tinkering with the sneaker you know being a designer is kind of a virgil's you know master stroke and th- here you go he may he may not be all around unique gifted designer but he has something you know he it's not like he it's not like he completely uh he completely plays off social media hype right with nothing to give yeah exactly <laughs>